Before we start, I have to mention that DIU sent me this bike in order to show it on my channel, but as always, I give you my honest opinion. This mini bike looks really cool. You can see the sides of the bench. It is quite small with only 14 inch wheels, a rear back seat that is really low to the ground. It's all foldable. In a minute, we will fold the bike to show you how small it gets when folded. It has an external battery that you can easily remove to charge it inside if needed. The bike is shipped in a big carton box, but it is almost already assembled. You only have to add the saddle and you have to add the pedals on the cranks, but within 10 or 15 minutes, it's all set and done. Of course, you have to charge the battery as well. And that takes about three hours. Now with the bike comes this really handy tool with everything you need on it. You get the key fob with a key for the to remove the battery and an additional key fob with an additional key. You get the charger and you get the manual. On the bike itself you have some additional labels as well so there was a label on the key fob there was also a label to mention that you have to inflate the tires and then you have the warranty card the manual itself is clear but it is translated english so you have to read it twice to understand completely and then again not everything corresponds completely so here they speak about a power button but as you can see there is no power button at all and the on and off function on the key fob doesn't really work as they mentioned here neither but this said I tried this bike for a couple of days now and already love it so much so quick specs we have the 14 inch wheels with disc brakes the right brake handle operates the front brakes and on the back we have the motor and with the left brake we can action the rear disc brake as well so on the website they mentioned that it is a 250 watt motor in the manual they mentioned that it is a 350 watt motor when driving with it i really have the impression that there is a lot of power i wouldn't be surprised if it was a 350 watt motors i asked diu how i could check on the bike itself what the exact power of the motor is and they told me that i can find it on the motor itself but as you can see here i don't see anything but a serial QR and the logo itself but there's nothing about the power itself then we have the battery you need a key in order to remove it it's really handy nobody can steal your battery so that's great there's this little cover for the charger I think it could be a little bit more sturdy and see just a plastic cover it would be better to have a like a rubber grommet that plugs in not sure how this is when driving in the rain specifics on the battery itself then here we have the computer and then this big cable goes all over to the computer itself now here we have the on off switch that's for the light and here we have the horn now we come to the key fob in order to activate the bike we have to press twice the lightning button and now you can see it is on when it turns on it always turns on in the eco mode and with the m button we can switch to middle or high and this have, has an effect on the assistance when bicycling in eco mode you don't really 
feel any driving aid in middle mode you feel that the motor is kicking in quite a bit and in high it really kicks off and you don't have to pedal uh, that much in order to go really fast then you have here your ODO and that shows the distance that you drove with the bike all together and then you have your kilometers per hour here you see the distance that you do per trip so you are back in ODO Now let me show you the horn you can hear that it's really loud and then we have here the throttle now coming back to the key fob there is in the manual it says that you press once in order to turn it turn off the bike but as you can see nothing happens and even pressing twice nothing happens neither but when i Activate the lock button, the bikes turn off, and you hear a little whistle. Now, the really cool thing about this bike is I locked it, and shh, let me show what happens when you move the bike. And not only, not only an alarm is going off. The lights going off as well and even the wheel blocks no way to drive off with it. Now let me unlock the alarm. So that is really a cool feature to have an e-bike with an alarm on it not only the horn is going off like crazy the lights are going off as well but even the wheel blocks there's no way to bike off with it you can set the sensibility of the alarm as well it's a really cool feature folding the bike is really easy and straightforward you simply pinch the pedals in order to make them smaller then you unlock the saddle and push it all the way down it's important that it goes all the way down because the underside of this bar acts as a foot and then we can remove the security here really well thought of so there you go and the last one is here the security on the on the steer you have to slide it upwards tilt it downwards and then it can fold all the way down and that's why this hose is this this big and now see how small this little thing is compared to my bench it will easily fit in the trunk of a car So you can see how it loads up easily in my trunk with all the other stuff that I have already. And in order of weight, it only weighs 22 kilos. It isn't a thing you want to run a marathon with. Really feasible to load it into your trunk. Now using the bike is as simple. You activate it as I told. Here you can activate the light. It's, so now it's on on the front side and the back side as well. And the back side also 
activates when you're braking. Now the horn, the speedometer, and here's your battery level. And I just turn the throttle, and you can see we're off. And to drive, just turn the throttle, and you can see you're off, and it is really going fast. So here I'm even on gravel and you can see how fast it goes. Just go over here and not pedaling, I'm only using the throttle. And you can see how fast it is really going. And thanks to the suspension in front, I don't really feel the, the gravel and even the saddle has some suspension in it, so here, but it is also pumped. Before going into the real testing part and try this bike on hills, roads and off-road, we're going to speak about the legal side of this bike. Now please check your local legislation on what is permitted on your local roads but here in belgium e-bikes have to be limited to 250 watts maybe that's the reason why diu advertised this bike on their site as 250 watt but as i said in the manual and even in the feeling is that the motor is quite bigger but on the bike itself there's nowhere to find somewhere where it says that the bike has 250 watts so, so far so good and you could put it off if ever you were stopped it doesn't go any faster than 25 kilometers an hour so there again in belgium that's the limit for e-bikes but and there's a big but the throttle handle makes that the bike can drive autonomously even without pedaling and that's a big no-go for e-bikes here in Belgium, an e-bike only should give power when pedaling. So that makes the bike a moped and mopeds have to be registered. So the next step then to get this bike legally on the road is to register it as a moped. Because mopeds can drive autonomously, of course. Then you get a little license plate. You can see here, they have foreseen this little support to attach a license plate then i discovered that in belgium that that you only have to register mopeds if they have only one seat but here small as it is it is an official seat so i thought i could get away with it but then again all mopeds have to get their insurance and to get the bike insured you need to have a certificate of conformity so i contacted diu to ask for the certificate and they sent me this model I passed it through to the police office to ask if it is, was okay and they, they told me it wasn't an official one an official one has much more detail as the one I show right here so due to the fact that the motor is more than 250 watts and due to the fact that it has a throttle it isn't allowed officially on the road now of course with these looks it should pa pass as a simple e-bike but don't forget to pedal and don't attract unwanted attention if 
this scares you, well, then you could always tape the throttle off. I tried to check within the motor itself if you could disable the throttle completely and disconnect it, but it is possible and DIU confirmed me this. So if you want to go legally on the road, please tape off the throttle handle so that you can only use the power when pedaling. Now the over conclusion of this bike that is that I love it already. I drove some small distances just around the house and it is so easy to use, so much fun to use as well. The seat is very comfortable, but I want really to put it to the test in my environment with a lot of hills and off-road. Now today we're going to test out the first hill ride with this DIU A5 folding bike. You can see I fully charged the battery and we are attacking that slope over there which is really one of the hardest in the region. It's difficult to catch on camera but it is a really hard one. You can see some cyclists up there who are having a hard time climbing up so I expect to have a hard time as well but with the assistance of the motor it should be feasible so wish me luck Now that definitely worked way better than I expected. As you could see, I doubled every cyclist and I drove about 15 or 18 kilometers an hour. So that is really awesome. Of course, I'm a little bit out of my breath. Uh, I still pedaled, but again, uh, I think without pedaling, it should even have been able. The battery isn't drained that much. I saw one bar going back or going uphill, but I retrieved it uh, as soon as it was up here. So now let's do some off-roading as well. And here's some gravel and there's some downhill over there. Now after that forest ride and a little bit off-road as well, I moved to the second location and it is on the foot of this famous slope of the Quermont, the old Quermont. It's a part of the Flanders, Tour Flanders cycle tour which attracts a lot of people from all over Europe. It's especially known for the paving, so with those little wheels which I noticed are a little bit jumpy on uneven roads that can be a little bit tricky so let's see how it performs i still got a full battery it's set on high i will use the throttle as well and i will pedal i will see how i get up there Now again, that worked as a charm, even if the bike was really noisy, I should do something about that battery that is dangling around, which you can hear here. I think I will fix it in place 
with some kind of cord because they, they really can hear me coming then my saddle just dropped a bit so and then i was a little bit lower than i was before but overall the bike really did great of course with the small wheels and the pavings it was jumpy but it was definitely feasible now this bike is definitely not made for bicycling with one hand as you do right now the little wheel goes everywhere so it makes the bike really unsteady but just in order to show you i only lost one bar and that's one going up when going down it still is completely full after i have to say two heavy climbs i started somewhat at 35.6 kilometers i think and now i'm at 49 with all those hills it's quite good you can see the high is blinking and that means that the throttle is on and i don't have to keep it on any longer if i brake right now you can see it stopped blinking and if i don't pedal the bike slows down and if i pedal it picks up again and if i put on the throttle and hold it for eight seconds the lower icon starts blinking again and they can't leave it be now the last test of this test drive and you can see i still have full battery it's going uphill on one of the slopes here in my region if you want uh, my town is surrounded by hills and when we go cycling a little bit my wife always complains that she has to go uphill so let's try with this little bike to go uphill without pedaling and only by motor power if this bike can do this job well that it would be really 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 great so uh, let's go I'm up as you can see I didn't lost any battery and it was really crazy to see how it climbed even the steepest climb and never dropped below 15 kilometers an hour without pedaling I'm really blown away so let's wrap it up and go home for the conclusion there we are we did the test drives and i'm so blown away by the capacities of this little bike it is a head turner everywhere when you drive by people watch smile they really love it i did some improvements though i put some wd-40 on this pivoting part it was quite hard to fold and now it almost flies uh, into parts really easy I also fixed the battery with this little cord. You can see you can still easily unlock it if needed, but it prevents the battery from rattling like crazy. And then I also did this modification with these footsteps. It was a little bit harder to do because you don't have that many that much place reattach the tire correctly but I'm happy that I managed to do so anyway so now you can see that the back seat 
it's a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more safe even if you're almost sitting on the ground. But with the footstep is feasible. It is really tough. I can even stand on it if needed. So a great addition as well. Then overall, I really like the seat and the pump effect that it has as well as the springs in the front. It really helped me out on the on even roads and paths. The small tires are really fun to drive in the city. On uneven roads they get a little bit jumpy but luckily the handles are really comfortable to have a good hold and grip on your bike something i noticed though there's this little grace layer and as you can see on my hands don't know why that is i have this gray shiny stuff on my hands now so i hope that will wear off quite quick Another addition out of it, a normal bike lock. I know there is this integrated alarm and wheel locking, but I don't want people to pick it up and run away with it. And then I also hide it an air tag on this bike, so I can also check on my iPhone where this bike is at any time. Now, battery-wise, you can see that I did my test driving with three really steep hills and one where I didn't even pedal. I drove um, the whole, all morning up and down, pedaling on high, like this. Use the throttle and still I only lost one battery block. It's a pity you don't see the percentage, but you get an ID that I still have enough to drive. So the 40 kilometers of autonomy that you should have with a battery could be correct. So, the overall, so my overall conclusion of this bike, it is brilliant. People love it. It's so easy to take with you whatever you want. It goes everywhere. I, sw I swear the only limitation that you could have would be the small tires that would make it more difficult on rough terrain but this set with this motor this powerful motor and a small bike i think if a normal bike can get there this bike will get you there so let me know in the comments what you think about this bike don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll see you in the very next video bye bye